few bosses have come under fire after it emerged vital drug supplies to Northern Ireland could be disrupted by Brussels red tape. British firms have already stopped supplying non-branded drugs to the region's market because of the cost of post-Brexit bureaucracy. And it threatens to limit the number of treatments available to people in Northern Ireland from the end of the year. The move, reported by Express, has sparked a ferocious backlash online. One furious reader said, how can the wonderful EU elite leaders sleep at night? Do they not all have nightmares? How many deaths do they have on their hands? How much blood? When will the deceit and lies end and will they ever believe what they themselves say? How much longer will they try to punish GB when they are costing their own countries by so doing? There is no morality left in European politics. Who will ever trust any of them ever again? Another reader said, time all this Brussels Mafia revenge was brought to an end. WTO rules has to be better than these constant vitriolic attacks. Another said, it's time we were self-sufficient and made our own medicines seeing as the EU are so untrustworthy. Another said, as long as Boris Keeps is connected in any way to the EU unelected globalist cabal they will continue to insult and play their kiddie games with us. And another reader said, surely there is an international law prohibiting the blockade of medical supplies to civilian populations, even through bureaucratic means. Britain has called for red tape to be eased after a worrying rise in tensions over a disruption in trade. But Eurocrats insist trade rules drawn up to deal with Brexit cannot be altered. Whitehall officials fear the bloc underestimates unionist anger over customs controls between Britain and Northern Ireland. To keep the Irish border open, the area effectively remains part of the EU's single market and some checks are now made on some products arriving from the rest of the UK. Under the protocol to avoid a hard border, drugs will have to be licensed separately for use in the region, as well as undergoing separate safety checks. These checks are set to be introduced on January 1 next year after a grace period expires.